Patriots in the home white, VCU, and their road black uniforms. Tony Chris will get us started, and Virginia Commonwealth will start with the basketball first. It's homecoming in Fairfax. Good crowd here inside Eagle Bank Arena. Yeah, terrific atmosphere here today. The Patriots man-to-man, -man, and you'll see them, John, like a lot of NBA teams do. They will switch a lot of ball screens when given the opportunity. One of the keys to the success of their defense is successfully switching those ball screens. And a three ball right away, no good from the outside. You see you not a great three-pointing shooting team. They don't shoot them that often, and they're only making about 34%. George Mason's taking 200 more threes than BCU, and they make over 38%. It'll be an interesting contrast in styles because the Patriots are a very good offensive team, while BCU is one of the best defensive teams in the country. Always so. are. Nice pass. Great look down low. Ace Baldwin on the inside, finding Hassan Ward. And here we go. The 94 feet of pressure for BCU. And turnovers are a key factor anytime these two teams play. I asked Kim English yesterday, what are the three keys to winning today? He said, turnovers, turnovers, and turnovers. Yeah. So Gaines out front. The Schwartz, we talked about the transfer from Colorado, misses the three, but we've got a foul underneath on the rebound, and it's going to go against Ward. And there's Kim English, first year at George Mason, only 33 years old. You know what's terrifying, Bill? I rode a season on the brink two years before he was born. <laughs> That's terrifying. Maduro on the block, kicks it out to Schwartz. And now resets. This is a great matchup here, Ward and Oduro. Oduro's fading away, can't finish. Ward and with the rebound those, BCU. Sorry, Bill, Ward with those long arms is a tough defender. And he was able to get Oduro to fade away from the basket there. Baldwin hiding behind screens, couldn't find anything. Now Williams will take the three, no good. And the rebound, Oduro. And that is the kind of shot that George Mason wants VCU taking, a deep three. Got it inside, Oduro lays it home. Good job as VCU came out and doubled the ball screen. Good and foul here on the inbound. Yeah, Mason was able to get it to the corner and then the closeout couldn't get there in time and Gaines got Oduro, got the ball Oduro underneath. Ward tried to get in front of Oduro and didn't get there in time and that left Oduro open for the easy layup. George Mason showing some full court pressure here, trying to give VCU a little of their own medicine. Don't think they'll be as high octane in their press. No, as and the Rams BCU have two is. very good ball handling yeah. guards on the floor. That foul, by the way, was on Devontae Gaines. That's his first. Run now will take the set shot three and knocks it down. Nunn is a freshman, and he had to play the point guard spot early in the season. While Ace Baldwin was still recovering from his ACL surgery and did a really good job. But with Baldwin out there, that, it's a very dangerous and remarkably mature backcourt. Baldwin just a sophomore. Cooper, three ball, too deep. And the rebound of ECU. Curry all the way down, forcing the issue. Can't get it to go, but Ward's follow is good. Got those long arms, as I mentioned, and he is very dangerous around the offensive glass. That'll be a key as well, John, is rebounding. The Patriots, one of the best defensive rebounding teams in the country. They do a pretty good job of keeping opposite teams off the glass, but Ward there able to get it. So you see Mike Rhodes, fifth year at DCU. He's athletic director, Ed McLaughlin, sitting right behind him there, who hired him. And Mike, of course, great Division Three player and an excellent Division Three coach at Randolph-Macon, yep. ended up at Rice, and then came to VCU five years ago. Got the Rams to the NCAA tournament last year. They were the one team of 68 that did not get to play because of COVID. VCU on a 5-0 run, another three ball in the way. Back iron no good, Gaines with the rebound. And as you can see, Mason's going to give up those three-point shots because that's where they want them shooting, even when they make a couple. And a foul on the reach in will go against Vince Williams, Jr. First on him, second on VCU. The Patriots have started just one of five from the field so far in this one. 
And VCU, four of their seven shots, John, have come from long range. And again, that's not their game. One of four isn't going to get it done for 40 minutes. 25%. Even my man can figure that out. Cooper looking to drive, cut off. Gaines now will take a step back three. He's knocked down, and that's going to be the and second on Williams. That's a huge foul there. I don't know what Williams was thinking. An experienced player like him jumping into a three point shooter. It's sort of a basic here that when a three point shooter steps back, you don't jump into him, you jump past him. Right. And so Vince Williams, who is critical to VCU, is, see, he's going to have to come out here less than four minutes into the game. And as you mentioned, they missed two games. He missed two games with that calf injury. And they lost them both, including getting routed by a Dayton team they had beaten on the road. I guess he's... Gaines is going to get three shots here. This is the middle of the three. He got confused there for a second. second. <laughs> Why so Williams wasn't you're coming out. for him to come in. Yeah. As I said, my math's not very good. Counting the three can be difficult. And it's interesting because Gaines is coming off probably his worst offensive game of the season against Richmond. But he's fired him up early and often here so far today. Probably what his coach told him to do. So makes two of three, so the lead is cut the three now at seven of four. But the Patriots still with just one field goal and five attempts in this ball game. And a foul going to the basket here, and will go against Xavier Johnson. So he's called for his first foul. The team sent rookie team member last year. He was a big part of their success last season. And makes the free throw. So now an 8-4 lead for VCU. Along with Bones Highland, who of course is now in the NBA, left after his sophomore year. Second one from the left-hander is good. Front rim, front rim, backboard, and in on both shots. You don't see that very often. So again, the pressure here has none. Guards Johnson. They get it to a durable way outside the arc and 15 on the clock. We can put it on the floor, though, as we know. Kicks it out to Schwartz. Baseline. Cut off there. Oduro fakes the three. Now finds Johnson. He'll take the three. And got it. Good patience. Good ball movement there by George Mason. And Johnson's been good. That's now 10 of his last 19 from three-point range, and he was not a good shooter his uh, first couple of years here in Fairfax. What you want, you want players to improve between freshman year and senior year. No better example than Josh Adoro, who's a junior. And there's Baldwin going right and hitting that left jumper. And knocked it just inside the top of the key. So the mid-range game makes it 11 to 7 BC. Johnson all the way down, gets it down low to Adoro, missed the layup on the inside. Baldwin now lines up a three and got it. Wow, he started back down court while that ball was in the air. He knew he'd made that one. So it's to be guarded. Quick 5-0 run for VCU. Pushes the lead out to seven, their largest of the half. Johnson now lost the handle and turned it over. That's what VCU will do. They will sort of lure you into driving the basketball, and they've got quick hands. That's why they average nine steals a game. And that was just a little heat check there from Baldwin. Gaines now open wing three is good. Gaines one of the two lefties in his starting lineup for Tim English along with Deshaun Schwartz. Transfer of course from Tennessee which is where Tim English was a year ago working for Rick Barnes. Curry now on the drive shuffled his feet and it's a travel. Now in November Bill that wouldn't have been a trap because the NCAA put emphasis on, well, let guys go on the walk unless it's really blatant. And the officials enforced it during non-conference. Once conference play started, oh, a travel became a travel again. So you see the last three, they came and doubled Johnson and left Gaines wide open there on the right side. And good alertness by Johnson to reverse the ball to the open shooter. 
Patriots make their first substitution. And I'll, I know you'll like this, John. A walk-on, Blake Buchanan, is the first player off the bench for the Patriots. I like him even more because he walked over and introduced himself to me before the game and said he read all my kids' books, which again makes me feel old, but <laughs> I appreciated it. Schwartz, corner three. Back iron, no. Oduro battling Ward for the rebound. The Rams come away with it there. Patriots down four at 14 to 10. Schwartz yet to score in this one. Tough matchup there for Oduro with Ward. Ward does get into foul trouble, but he is an excellent rebounder. Ball went down the outside. They toss it down low. And back out. Baldwin didn't catch it clean. That was probably not a good idea. And Mike Rhodes is going to lose his mind now because he thought he got Baldwin fouled. got fouled, thought he got bumped, and then the other way they call a foul on the rebound. So he is not happy with the officiating so far in this one. It's all over Jeremy Steins. If you recognize the name, his father, Ramey, top official. So the foul was called underneath on Nick Kern Jr., the 6'6 freshman, fourth foul on VCU here. And again, the pressure by the Rams. And that's what they do. And the pressure isn't just about turnovers, Bill. It's about making it harder to get into your offense. It crosses the, the midcourt line with 22 seconds on the shot clock. Schwartz, another one, no good. The rebound battle for, and Ward has it. So Deshaun Schwartz is cold to start this one. 0 for 3, all from behind the arc. Baldwin in the corner. And that back out Ward drives on Devontae Gaines. Kicks it out. Baldwin. And losing the handle there. That's why good hands Stocker. are so important for a good big man. That was a good pass. Stocker couldn't handle it. Johnson drives and is fouled by Stocker. And again, Mike Rhodes looks at the official and points to the other end of the floor saying, how about that? Ed? Well, remember, when a coach argues that way, he's not arguing the foul call there. He's arguing for the next call. Right. And that was clearly a foul. Mike Rhodes was not arguing that call. So Johnson to the line, two shots, and the Rams up to five fouls here with 12.29 to go in the first half. Only two for the Patriots. And Johnson... Whoa. That's a shooter's roll. Home, home court <laughs> bounce there as it hit the back iron, clicked off the top of the backboard and fell through. Now, if he does it again, <laughs> I'll be very impressed. Devontae Gaines checks out, and the freshman from Australia, Blake Jones, into the ballgame for the Patriots. Ah, that was just a swish. And Jamal Hartwell checks in replacing Xavier Johnson 14-12 so a little 5-0 run for the Patriots they've held VC scoreless for over two minutes now since it was 14-7 once again the full court pressure Kim English will play his bench a lot in the first half he tends to rely on the starters more heavily in the second half Baldwin now out front guarded by Hartwell and Mike Rhodes always goes to his bench he plays 10 guys Drive, cut off, and then blocked. And blocked again. Oh, they're going to get the foul on the second one. Oduro got the first one clean. Tony Chris with the call, and it will be Oduro. You see Oduro with a block from behind. Yeah, he got him on the arm, Bill. Second time. Shockingly enough, some of the fans behind us disagree. <laughs> You're only going to please about half the people half the time, John. If you're yeah. lucky. Free throw is good to make it a 15-12 ball game. I was at a game last year, and I won't mention the teams, but one of the fans behind me got up at one point and yelled at the officials, you realize you guys are so bad, you're worse than this game? <laughs> Gave him credit for a sense of humor. It's not bad. So into the ball game now for VCU. Deshaun Curry returns. This is a good officiating group. He'll give Nick Kern Jr. a breather. So both free throws good. So 16-12 now. Virginia Commonwealth on top. Hartwell brings it across. And took eight seconds just to get across the timeline. That's what VCU wants out of his press. They'll take a uh, turnover, but... That's 
the second best thing. And near turnover there with 10 seconds on the clock and TV timeout. And that'll get us to That's our timeout here. Devon Cooper just one three-point attempt in this game. Schwartz has got three off. Those are the two main three-point shooters for the Patriots, but he's missed all three. That's a block. And Stockard's going to be called for it. And that will be his second and the team's sixth. So they've got both Vince Williams Jr. and now Levi Stockard, the third, both with two fouls. He moved into him. That's an easy call for Tony Chris. And more importantly, it reset the shot clock as it was about five or six seconds You're to right. go. And now they get a new 20. Still Maduro, don't, I still don't like that rule. Maduro driving all the way through, got around Stockard, couldn't finish the reverse layup. The length so far, Virginia Commonwealth giving Oduro some problems. UCU has several big men they can rotate into the game. Stay fresh, have a lot of fouls to work with against a guy like Oduro. Little floater, no good. Buchanan with the rebound. And Hartwell comes back the other way. Top of the key three from him. Front rim, no good. That was an awfully quick shot, Bill. And back the other way quickly, VCU. Nice Good. defensive strip by Cooper. It'll stay with the Rams, but pretty good hands there on defense. Excellent hands, getting getting an all ball and not fouling. Often here, you get all ball and you foul with the body, but he went right by him, never touched him, and got his hand on the ball. So Curry has it stripped away, but VCU maintains possession. They're up four here, 16-12. And oh, a breakdown, wow. somebody wide open. Somebody lost, did not switch off the screen. Mikael Brown Jones just in, the 6'8 sophomore, with probably the easiest two points maybe anybody will have in this ball game. Let's hope so. Johnson to Schwartz, starts to drive baseline, cut off, flips it to Oduro, cross court to Xavier Johnson, who's back in. And now Blake Jones, the Australian freshman, lets it go. No good. Schwartz going to be called for the foul on the push-off. That'll be his first, team's fourth. Watch here. Teams scout other teams' inbounds plays. And there you see the screen, and nobody went with yeah. Rhodes Jones. And Bill, I think you or I could have made that. Play. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so, I don't too, know, left side, it might... Well, I'm left-handed, <laughs> so oh, there it would be easy for there me. There you go. Or as easy as it gets for me. VCU up six at 18-12. They led by seven early at 14-7. Down low, Stocker turns, Schwartz there Double with those girl. And that's going to be a travel. Yeah. He's going to either travel in three seconds because he was there all day yeah, But long. nobody ever calls three well, seconds. that's true. But it was, it was a walk. They, he got trapped and didn't recognize it quickly enough. He actually had three guys around him at one point. Oh, There's yeah. where he shuffled yep. the feet. That was before he moved out of the circle. So it turns over back to the Patriots here. Again, 18-12, Virginia Commonwealth with the lead. And near steal for the Rams, but Johnson able to hold on to the basketball there. Again, those quick hands of the Rams are always dangerous. Mike Rhodes pleading for a call again. Rivero sizing up here, trying to drive, backs down, spins, turns, hook shot's good. That's the best position he's had inside today. Except for that one play where he sealed Ward and got an open layup. So Deloach, the freshman, did a nice job, but couldn't quite slow him all the way down. And now back at the other end, Deloach trying to play volleyball off the backboard, but Oduro comes away with it. It's a junior versus a freshman there. Three ball no good in transition for Gaines, and VCU maintains their four-point lead. Mason's had some real opportunities here with open shots that just haven't gone down. Two of nine from the outside so far, four of 14 overall. Floater up, up and good Tough by the Rams. There. Onus with the bucket. He was somebody that Kim English mentioned in the, in the when I talked to him yesterday. He only plays 16 minutes a game, but he is a dangerous shooter. This is what Dean Smith used to call a plus shooter. Rodero on the outside. Johnson, Patriots back down by six. Johnson kicks it cross court. Cooper got open look for three. In and out. Oduro, though, offensive rebound. Up and under and finish. Nice play by Oduro. Starting to get his act together here. Patriots certainly need him. He's got six points now in the ballgame and six rebounds. 
Four-point lead once again for Virginia Commonwealth. Curry to face Baldwin. Foul line, lobs it underneath. Devontae Gaines tried to come over to help, but the Loach with the long arms and the size, too easy. And that was Oduro stepping up to help with Curry there and left him. Curry, very smart player. One of those seniors who's really come into his own this year. But they're on the outside. Sizes up the Loach, takes him down along the baseline. Still on the dribble. It's one on Spins, one there. Turns, forces it up, and draws the foul. He's a really hard guard for Deloach, one-on-one -on -one inside, and they don't want to come to double because they're still afraid of Mason's three-point Or he's not great passing on the double team. This year, we've seen him be way more successful in that. You mentioned that in the open, how much better he's gotten uh, passing the ball out of double teams and recognizing double teams. That That's always critical. And, and we saw it with Stockard at the other end when he didn't recognize the double team and ended up traveling with the ball. So Duro misses the first one, comes in 71.7%, hits the second, and that free throw percentage has been much higher in 8-10 play than it was earlier in the year. So important for a big guy to make free throws, especially someone like Oduro, who's going to get to the line. So Baldwin now running the point, and the Patriots showing a little bit of his own look here. Coming out of the timeouts, change of defenses. Good Baldwin move. takes the three, can't knock it down. And now Schwartz driving all the way down, cut off Oduro to Gaines to Johnson. They throw it around the outside, and Cooper hits the three. That was good ball movement, and that's the kind of three-point shooting that Mason is accustomed to. And that was five guys touching the ball all outside the arc, and it ends up with Cooper in the corner to make it a 22-20 game. More often than not, you'd like the ball to touch the paint to set up your three-point shooters, but that time, as you said, it worked out. Mason's still in the zone here. 2 3 look. Curry, they get on the inside. It's a nice way of working to get in the zone. And a good head fake there by Deloach. And the patience That's to let both defenders go up. That's textbook zone offense. Took them one possession to adapt. So Duro turns and faces on Deloach. Goes into his move. Got bumps off the glass. No. And the rebound to VCU. That's Vince Williams who's back in with those two fouls. Yeah, he was out for almost 10 minutes after he got that second foul. Mike Rhodes taking the gamble, saying he's a senior. He's got to know how to play with two fouls. That was a carry. And Gaines is going to be called for the foul. That's going to be the second on Devontae Gaines here. Curry was arguing over there with um, one of the officials. Uh, Terry Steins, uh, because he thought he got fouled when he carried the ball. It was one or the other, Bill. It was either a well, foul said, or a the, carry. The official made the sign that it had gotten bumped, that it was a kind of a muff. Well, if he got bumped, then so, he, that's a foul. And nice the move there good. by none. Boy, he is a mature freshman, isn't he? He hasn't come alive in A-10 play. He hasn't had double digits in A-10 play yet, but he provides those five, six, seven points a night that you count on And he's points. a good defender. Freshmen often aren't. Gaines to Cooper. Trying to make his move on ball. Whoa, that's that's going to be an offensive foul by yeah. Davon Cooper. If you put first. your shoulder down, Bill, it's going to be an offensive foul. It doesn't even really matter if the defender's moving. And watch here as Cooper puts his shoulder down. Oh, my goodness. He had to call that offensive. That'll be his first team six, but it turns the ball over back to VCU. And the good number for the Patriots, even though they're down six, they only have three turnovers so far in this ball game. And that's critical. As Kim English said yesterday, turnovers, turnovers, and turnovers. So, again, the zone look here for the Patriots. Baldwin into the corner. Curry open for three. Got it. And it's a nine-point lead. For the Rams. One of the things about Curry that's so good is he never forces anything. He gets an open shot, he'll take it, but otherwise he's going to content to set up his teammates. And what do we got here? Is it uh, shot clock? Shot, shot clock, clock never start. started. Yep. So it should be 5 20 and 28. There they got it. So this is pretty good ball moving here against the zone, John. Yep, and find the open man there in the corner. And again, Curry was wide open and squared up you just overload a side and when you've got three and they've only got two it's hard to defend all of them 
Foul away from the ball here. Tony and it's Chris. gonna be it's gonna be Oduro, I think, getting free throws here. Yeah, foul was on Curry and Tony Chris basically saying I'm cleaning things up right now. Too much contact away from the ball. That'll be the first on Curry. Let's see if we can see it here. He did not I see it. I didn't see, yeah. No. I mean, I, if I didn't see him foul Oduro. No, well, I think that, it, oh, yeah, they put Oduro on the yeah. line. They did call it on Curry. I would have thought if it had been Oduro, that it would have been, I think it was Stocker down there with him. And Stocker does foul pretty often. Big body guy. Lincoln Cannon's going to come back in and replace Cooper here. Duro's up to eight points, six rebounds. A good After balance. a slow start. A good balance for VCU, John. Eight different players have already scored in this ball game, led by Baldwin, seven. And that's not unusual for them. Mike Rhodes, as I said, will often get ten guys into the game in the first half. That was good. That's the way he's always played. And remember, he was an assistant to Shaka Smart once upon a time and still believes in having it. And they have played 10 so far here in the first half. They lead it by 7, 29-22. Driving in, cut off, and having to kick it back out was none. Stocker screens. That's going to be illegal. He turned before the well, Like I there. said, he... He's, he fouls often. That's one of the reasons why he doesn't play more minutes. And that's going to be the third on Stockard. Yep. Yeah. The official lets you get away with that turn, but I think most of the time the ball handler has to clear you before they turn. And Buchanan got caught, and he just turned and, and bumped right into him. Yeah, it used to be, Bill, that if you weren't moving your feet, you wouldn't get called for a moving screen. Now they watch the upper body. Johnson slipped and fell, and he got it to Schwartz. He starts to drive, but double team there. They get it to Oduro, faces up, one dribble to the paint, count the bucket, and the foul. And I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and predict that uh, Trey Styans and Mike Rhodes will not be having dinner together tonight. And here you see the foul. The only question was, was it in was he in the shooting motion? They're Definitely. giving him the end one. So yep, he's up they to are. 11 points. So Deloach with two, Vince Williams with two, and Levi Stockard with three for VCU as they're up to 10 team fouls here. I don't know why Ward has been out of the game for as long as he was. Well, actually, you know what, John? We have to correct it. They gave one of Stockard's fouls to Ward. To Ward. So, so they all have two. two. Yes, he has two. So they've cha they changed one of those fouls because we had it early that it was Stockard. It was Ward. He has two. We see you with a small lineup on the court here. And they keep Stockard on because, frankly, he's the one they can most afford to have pick up a third foul. None drives. The block and a foul. foul. It's probably going to be Schwartz. Maduro the blocked body. the shot. Yep. And it'll be Schwartz's second. So the Patriots have Gaines and Schwartz, two of their starting five now with a pair of fouls. A lot of fouls in this half, especially for a first half. Let's see. Yeah, that, that was with that the body. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. left hand, the off hand. So yeah. both teams in the bonus the rest of the half. A lot of the reason there have been so many fouls is that guy, the teams have been attacking the basket so much. And that will lead to fouls, of course. None makes the first. He's 78% on the season. He's up to six points. Cooper in for Schwartz here with 4.11 to go first half. Cooper, of course, the transfer from Moorhead State. None makes both, so he may break that streak. He's up to seven of not scoring 10 or more in an 8-10 contest. He's got seven here in the first half. Three transfers start for George Mason. Mike Rhodes said to me yesterday that Kim English hit a home run, his words, with the transfer portal once he got the job here. Johnson hesitates, drives, layup no good. Oduro fights for it, got it, and then had it stripped away, lost it. Back the other way. Curry leaves it for Vince Williams. Pulls up with a left-handed floater, no good. Trying to get his own rebound, and 
they're going to call Oduro for a foul here. And Vince Williams, following his own, was able to slip inside. Now they wave the foul off. Nope, they... No, they called it. it TV well, was... timeout, but I it'll be shooting. And Gus gets to the free throw line with a one and one. See if he can break his skein here. And, and by the way, it is skein. I looked it up once. And he does. As Otis Frazier, you see there, number five. The sophomore from Arizona is in. So the Patriots have three of their starters on the bench with two fouls. Oduro, Schwartz, and Gaines. And Gaines has five. Oduro has 12. But Schwartz yet to score in this one. And they may try to play the last 340 without those guys. And both teams have three guys with two fouls apiece. Johnson brings it across. Patriots are now down by eight. They trailed by as many as nine. It was 29-20. And they've never led here at home. Blake Jones, the freshman, drives, kicks it out to Frazier. Goes baseline on Williams. Lays it nice home. Nice there. Williams can't afford to get foul number three there, John. Exactly right. And, and I think Frazier knew it. Coaches in timeouts will say, so-and-so's got two fouls there. That's too easy. Yeah. Vince Williams gets right to the bucket. He scored the last four now for VCU. I think uh, VCU got confused there. On, like, excuse me, Mason got confused there on defense. Well, you do have a lot of combinations that have not played together. I'm sure. I'm sure we've seen this five on the floor. Buchanan hands it off. Now 10 on the shot clock for Johnson. Drives, kicks to the corner, Blake Jones catches, bad angle, and can't hit the three. The rebound off of ECU, it'll stay with the Patriots, 2.38 to go here first half. And here's what I was saying earlier about this 20-second rule. I think if you get an offensive rebound, if you get fouled on the offensive end of the court, you should get a new clock. I know the NCAA wants more offense, so they're shortening the clock, but I, I don't think it's the fairest way to play the game. Brown Jones returns, replacing Stocker who has two fouls. And Johnson will inbound. Buchanan cuts through. They get it to Cooper in the corner. Three ball, good. Well, they didn't need 30 seconds there. So the second three of the ball game for Cooper, he has six. The lead is cut to five. That was a tall play off the inbounds, trying to get Cooper that three-point shot, and it's a big one. Baldwin now flips it over to Curry. Nobody got there. He can't connect, but we've got a foul on the rebound on the Patriots. I think it's going to go against Johnson. If it is, it's his second. Kim English is not upset with Johnson. He's upset with Jonas. Let me see. Screen. Actually, it was pretty well guarded. Hand in the face. Cooper knocked it down. The foul actually go against Frazier, so that's his first. But again, you forced him into a three and had the rebound. and. May end up giving up two points here. All right, it's, it's the last one and one, but he got two shots, so he didn't have to worry about it. So both teams in the double bonus now. So 36-30, as Brown Jones has come in, shooting just 50% from the free throw line. But that didn't look like a 50% shooter there. That's good form, and good both form of them all that. Two swishes, yeah. 37-30, VCU by seven. Johnson bringing it up, trying to stay out of the double team there. And gets it to Hartwell. Now Cooper, who just hit that last three, head down, driving. And double dribble. Double dribble oh, as yeah. he lost it, trying to gather. Just, just dropped the basketball. How many double dribbles have you seen called this season? I mean, not too many. That's my first, yeah. I think. I mean, it was clear. But it was a double yeah, I mean, dribble. Just, you see, you, just, he lost well, it. Yeah. you know what? He carried it, and then he double dribbled. Yeah. So 2.03 to go, and VCU up by seven here. Cooper was probably playing with an untied shoe there. And Schwartz and Oduro both return. Buchanan and Frazier out. Stockard comes in for Brown Jones. That's VCU's depth. They've used four different big guys in the first half. Part of it being foul trouble, of course. Brown Baldwin. Jones, the only one not in foul trouble. Three ball here would give VCU their first double digit lead of the ball game. And it's going to be Vince Williams trying to hit that three and does. So, well, normally a 10 when point I. Lead. Sorry, Bill. Well, normally when I see a lefty going right, I say, oh, not a good shot. But 
good shooters can make that shot. And look, Vince Williams just did first field goal of the game for him. He's up to seven points now. As again, VCU has three players with seven. Second nobody in double goal. digits. I'm yep. sorry, he made that open layup. Cooper drives baseline, cut off. Oduro puts his head down. Stocker gives him a little bump. Johnson fakes the three, starts to drive, kicks it to Oduro baseline. Five on the shot clock. Oduro's going to have to make his move. Four, three, spins back. The fadeaway block. Good defense there by Virginia Commonwealth on that possession. Sure was. Stocker with two fouls. Not the quickest guy in the building, but he stayed right with Oduro there and actually blocked the shot, making sure that it couldn't hit the rim. Both guys bodying each other. Fans have been screaming, let him play. They let him play on that position. 40-30, yeah. VCU on top here. They've made five of their last seven from the field. They're shooting 52% overall. The Patriots just 36%. Mike Rhodes took a gamble putting Vince Williams back in the game with 2,000. It's paid off. None will take the three and missed it. Schwartz with the rebound. Patriots can hurry, get a two for one, or they don't see that very often in college. There's one coach who always plays two for one in the country. Schwartz will take the three, in and out. And they got close. There's about a three second difference. And, and the clocks both just stopped. Uh, timeout taken. Oh, they stopped because yep. Mike Rose called yeah. call timeout. VCU <laughs> takes their 30 second use it or lose it timeout. So we'll no. keep it here as Schwartz. Again, John, really struggling. 0 for 4 now from the field, all from the outside. And he's a shooter. He came in averaging 15.9, just shy of 16 points a game and 40% from behind the arc. They need his scoring if they're going to stay in this one. Well, very much so, not just because of his scoring, but because if he shoots well and if Johnson shoots well from the outside, it opens things up on the inside for Odora. And that's, that's what they've been lacking. The officials are checking the clock. Well, you called it. You said they stopped it early before yeah. the timeout. I thought I thought they did. Because I was watching the play, and then I happened to see the clock stop, and then I saw Mike Rose calling the timeout. Yeah. That was the sequence I saw. Should have taken him more than one second to get the rebound and dribble to midcourt to call the timeout. You would think, unless they're super-powered. <laughs> and they have... VCU has played very well these last five or six minutes. As you mentioned, they're shooting. Uh, they've taken good shots. They've gotten to the basket. Vince Williams always makes a difference for them. He came back in with about six and a half to go. And since then, VCU has built the margin. Yeah, he hadn't scored, and then once right. he came back in. All right, so we'll take a look here to see. Give us your best guess on where the clock should be, John. So the rebound's yeah. there. I, I, I would say it, it should One, be two, at the 32 is right. No, I, I'm going to go, I think 20, it should be I'm gonna go 20, 29 and 26. 29 20, seconds to go, 26 on the clock. Well, That's I, my guess. I think it's a four-second difference. Okay. Per, per, I'm going to say 31 and 27. Okay. I'm you, again, when numbers are involved, I'm almost always wrong. So I, I think you have a good chance to be right. I don't know. We're going to, oh, I thought we were, we were going to find out now. Let's see what they do. So they're going to check and change it up. There you go, 29-126. You were right. I was on it. Yeah. Good for you. Well, and, you then, and I did say it was a three-second right, difference right. after the rebound. The, the thing is, the John, we've had so many of these replays and yeah, guys going to the table that I'm almost an expert at it now because we, we see it so we much. We should all be experts because yes. you're right. It happens all the time. And, and I, almost to the detriment sometimes, I think, of the well, players I and, and the game last flow. Year, I suggested a year ago that the rules committee, which met last May, should put in a, a 90 second max or something or 60 even on replay. If you can't figure it out in 90 seconds, then just leave it as it was right. called on the court. Right. All right, so VCU with about a three-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Up by 10 here, holding what could be the last shot of the half. Ball went out front, and they'll spread them out. Now Vince Williams to Curry. Mason should get a shot here, even if they go all the way down on the Curry shot clock. Curry lost it. Well, Frazier with the turnover. He's got Johnson to his right, gives it to him. He'll Big take shot. the three. And Whoa, out. No that would have been big. 
so that sort of sums up the half of the Patriots. Four Good shot, not going in. Four of 16 from the outside for the Patriots, just 25%, 9 of 27 overall for the Patriots. VCU shoots 50% in the first half, led by a trio with seven. Nunn, Williams, and Baldwin all with seven in the first half for VCU and we've got head coach Kim English with us uh, coach you have to feel good not too many turnovers for the most part in the first half but not hitting from the outside so far in this one yeah we got some good looks they made some some great shots some you know traditionally not great three-point shooters for them made some shots they've made some contested twos which got to live with we just got to do a better job having a thrust on offense and we got to do a better job defensively I mean, 40 points is, is just way too much to a team whose offense is usually generated off their turnover. Kim, I thought the last play of the half summed it up. Getting great defensive play, open three-point shooter on the wing, and the ball doesn't go down. Four for 16 from three. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're a process-oriented team. You know, the, the, the actions that we're doing are, you know, they, over time, they're more important more for us than the results. That was a great shot by X. We got some great shots by Deshaun, Coop, Ticket. We got to keep hanging our hats on our well we got to start hanging our hats on our defense and the offense will come thanks coach we appreciate thanks, it good luck thanks, second now 10 is hardly a big deal with 20 minutes left to go but you'd rather be down seven having made that last shot absolutely and down 10 to vcu could seem like a lot more than 10 the way they play defense so second half is underway patriots will start with the basketball here again down 10 40 to 30. They're starting five on the floor johnson gains oduro and a bad pass is stolen baldwin Leaves it on the inside, and the layup is good. Not the start that the Patriots wanted after they've done such a good job of taking care of the basketball in the first half. Not at all. You get the first possession, and it ends up being a layup for the other team. And Baldwin is such a good player at both ends of the court. We just saw that. Gaines now in the corner. Baldwin knocks Again. it away from him, and another turnover. That's basically two steals for, for Baldwin. He won't get credit for the second one in the box score, but he created it. So VC with an opportunity to push this lead out even further. They led by 10 at the half. And again, we were tied one time at 2-2. Other than that, the Rams have been in control the entire time. Curry now. It was a nice cut, but a tough shot. Good defense there by the Patriots. Schwartz back the other way. Held scoreless in the first half. 0 for 4. All the shots from behind the arc. Gaines will try to hit a 3. And that one oh. rattled around and out. They hit the rim nine times. But you mentioned Schwartz. They need to run something for him, try to get him going. Baldwin now to make it a 15-point lead and does in the 5-0 run right out of halftime. Not English, what the Patriots needed. I thought Tim English might call a quick timeout there, but he's going to rely on his players as he always says to trust the process here. And we're not talking about the 76ers. Schwartz now with Curry on him. He gives it over to Oduro. Maduro looking for Cooper. Back cut is there. Got Williams in the air. The reverse layup nice. is good. Good body control, too, to avoid making the contact and, and, with Curry. And I mean, excuse me, with uh, Williams. And using the rim to protect himself from getting a shot block. 45-32. Baldwin, another three is good. Got to stop him. Well, they talked about how... He's got six points, and assist, and two steals in two minutes. And he's not a bad three-point shooter. He came in 46%, so going under the screens don't, doesn't seem to make sense. But he's going to knock down three. Schwartz now, That's a and foul. Baldwin's going to be called for the foul. That's his first. Silly foul, actually. Put two hands on Schwartz's back. And he's done everything else. He might as well commit a foul. He's got six of VCU's eight here to start this half. Williams with the other two. And he had a steal and an assist on the other yeah. basket. Cooper barely threw it away to Johnson. He can throw it in the backboard on an inbound. Johnson now driving on none. Left the download of Gaines. His layup is good. Good pass. They're getting it in deep. Get into the rim, but they've got to get stops at the other end. And can't down trade, by 14. Can't trade three for two. Baldwin now directing traffic out front. Williams to Ward and hands it back off. Nunn, the pull-up jumper is good. Jaden Nunn now up to nine. Tough to close the gap when the team's four for four starting the second half. 
Schwartz going around the top. Johnson looking for space to drive. Dumps it off on the outside. It'll be Cooper for three from the corner. Is good. Both teams hot now. He's got three threes here in the ballgame. Quickly the other way. Layup is good. I have, Schwartz went flying. I have no idea how that went in. Totally off balance. And that's just like that, VCU back up by 15. A quick response. That's when you're hot as a team. That was Curry with the layup there. Johnson to Gaines. Lobs over the top. Tried to get it over Ward, but Hassan Ward knocks it away. He was looking for Oduro. And got fouled. And Oduro is going to be called for his third. And the team's first. 3 14 to go. Three steals in under four minutes. So Oduro had position, just you got to throw it a little bit farther. Right. And there you see the foul. And what, that was a no-doubter. A little frustration there, I think, from Oduro. And now a little conversation with the officials here. I don't know why Tony Chris put his hand over his mouth. I don't think anybody's trying to read his lips. I, it's not like a pitching mouth. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Conference. VCU has started five of six, including two of two from behind the arc in this half. Outscored the Patriots 12-7 so far. That's why their lead is up to 15. Alden fakes on the three, throws it cross court. We'll take a three from there, and that one rolls in. Even the shots that hit the rim go in, and now yep. Kim English has to call timeout. Well, down by 18 here at home as VCU has started off on a 15 to 7 run with that three pointer. The last time down for Virginia Commonwealth. He has 12 points in the ball game. First time in A 10 play that he's been in double digits. He had a career high 21 against UConn earlier this year, but this is the first time that Jaden Nunn's been in double digits in A 10 action. But Baldwin already seven assists, for 13 points. And, and seven. Couple steals too. Plays excellent defense as this team does. The Patriots had six turnovers at halftime. They have three already in the first four minutes of this half. And, and Cooper near nearly four made it turnover. Four. Very lucky there not to turn it over. He talks to Rick Barnes at least once a day. Yeah. That's what you call a mentor people relationship. Of course, Rick Barnes started out here at George, George Mason, Mason for 1987-88, went 20 and 10. Yep. yep. So Duro, driving on work. People forget how good a coach he's been. He's won more than 750 games. And to show you how close he and Kim remain, when we were talking before the game, I said, when's Tennessee play today? Four o'clock? He said, nope, six o'clock, Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> he might still even give him some scouting reports every now and then. Very possible. Johnson looking to get it in and does to Cooper. Schwartz now still looking for his first bucket. Fade away. Knocks it there. There you go. Maybe that'll get him started. They needed that. And there, there, there was nothing wrong with Curry's defense there either. So Schwartz finally in the scoring column. Does have three rebounds. Baldwin kicks on the outside. Another three on the way. He's good. They just can't miss, and they are not a great three-point shooting team. They shoot 34% for the for the year, and they don't take threes that often. None now up to 15 points in the ballgame. Johnson. Good hands again by Baldwin. And knocks it off of Johnson out of bounds. You got, you got to know where Baldwin is at every moment, especially at the deep, and when you are on offense. He just knocked that ball loose. And leads to a turn turnover. Again, no credit now. for a steal, but he created it. Yep. Four now turnovers here in the second half of the Patriots. It's 10 to 5. Baldwin's created three of the four. Baldwin now takes the three, starts to drive on Johnson, gets it to Vince Williams, coming off the screen, and hits another one. You know, sometimes you just got to say the other team gives scholarships too. Five for five from the outside in the half. Nine of 16 overall. VCU up by 22. I think they might have made their last three of the first half. Johnson fouled going to the rim. Kim English also told me that he believes they're 12 and 10 overall. They could have won nine of the 10 games that they lost. He felt the only game they were completely outplayed in was the Nevada game yep. in South Dakota that you saw. 
And there's the clear foul. That one on Baldwin, his second. Well, you look at the four losses. Was it on Baldwin? Play. Yeah, I think they called it on Baldwin. Yeah. Hmm. You look at the four losses in, in a 10 play. GW by one with no Josh O'Durrell. Right. St. Louis in double overtime, a game with that they had the lead in the second overtime. No Josh O'Durrell. They had O'Durrell for St. Louis. Oh, that's right. No Josh O'Durrell for LaSalle, lost by five in a game they had a lead in the second half. And then on the road, uh, Jacob Gilliard with no Josh O'Durrell hits a three with At point nine to go. Yeah. So they had chances in all of, so, all of their games. So Kim English isn't making it up. Maybe Old Dominion. That was another one okay. that they, they struggled in that ball game. No Xavier Johnson in that game. They played that game basically without a point guard. Right. But yeah, I mean. They've been, I mean, even in the, in the game in Kansas where they were without four guys because of COVID, they were in the game till the end. Yeah. And of course they won at Merrill. Baldwin now gives it up. Shot clock is under 10. Curry's gonna have to get one up here. Gives it to Williams, who knocked it off of none out of bounds. They're That's human. Just, yeah. They made a mistake. They turned it over. And that was going to be tough because Williams was going Even to if his he caught right. caught it clean. Going yeah. to his right. He was going to have to rise up and shoot because the shot clock was at one. Yeah, but the way they're shooting. That's a fair point. Better Probably for the Patriots that the ball went out of bounds. Yeah. So 61-41. Patriots trying to climb their way back out of this huge hole. Never would have thought this game would be a 20-point game at any point but there's a long way to go. Johnson now at the top, screen from Oduro. Kicks it over to Gaines. They get it down low to Oduro. Waits to look for the double team. Five on the shot clock. He's gonna have to go himself. Here's the double team late. Oduro late. steps through it and That's... didn't get it to the rim. Nope. Baldwin came with the double team very late, as you called it, figuring at that point with the shot clock under five that Oduro had to shoot it. Very smart play. Here, here you see it's one on one, and here comes uh, Baldwin with two on the shot clock. Yep. So 61 41. Patriots actually shooting okay this half, four out of six. The problem is VCU is eight out of nine, including five threes. Plus four and that's going to be a charge yeah. on Vince Williams. Could have gone either way. It was yeah. close. Gaines stepped out there around the screen. And I think Williams was just going too fast. What do you think? Let's watch here. They're going to hold it off. Oh, I thought that was a block, yeah. honestly. But he did put an elbow out. And the officials will call that more often than not. Mike Rhodes obviously thought it was a block. He's a little biased. Johnson to Oduro at the top. Now back to X. Starts to drive. Kicks in the corner to Cooper. Open look at a three. Too deep. Oof. No good. Schwartz with the rebound. It's been blocked away underneath. By Ward. And Curry finishes at the other end. And you just cannot make a mistake at all. There is no margin for error the way VCU is playing. You mentioned the Patriots were four out of six until that possession, but they also have four turnovers. Yeah. Gaines on the drive, can't finish, but draws a whistle here. And that one will go against Jalen Deloach. And the 15 foul on VCU. They've got Deloach, Williams, and Ward. Good block by Deloach. And then just an easy run out. Curry all the way through. Again, Curry never forces anything. He's so good that way. That's that's the mark of a senior, but he hadn't played that much before this year. Gaines free throw. No good. That's just kind of the day that it's been for the Patriots now. Don't think VCU has missed a free throw, have they? They are 10 of 10. That means they haven't missed. That's right? correct. Okay. Have, haven't missed a shot from outside the arc this half. They've only missed one shot the entire half. They're 9 out of 10. It's a high percentage. Plus the four live ball turnovers. 63-42. Gaines with the free throw. Now has eight points. They've done a good job, too. Devontae Gaines is the leading rebounder for the Patriots. He has just one in this ballgame. Baldwin just inside the arc. That was good short, defense. No good. And the rebound to Odura. That was good defense by Johnson. Forced him to pull up a little bit. Whoa, that'll be called. That could be four on Odura. That is. That'll be Odura's fourth. He was trying to set a screen. 
But his left elbow came out. Watch here. Well, right there. The officials have to call that, Bill. So Duro is going to have to have a seat. Malik Henry, the sophomore from Texas, into the ballgame for the first time. When you're setting a screen, you got you can't create contact. You've got to be set before this contact. Stocker down low. They go right at Henry, right off the bat. He's double teamed, tosses it up, no good. Gaines pulls the rebound. He's just not good in the post to recognizing double teams. Spun away from Baldwin as he was trying to get a steal in the backcourt. Got it to Schwartz. Three ball. Good. There you go. His first three. So that means a three in every single game. All 23 games played this year for Schwartz. It's going to need more than one. Oh, yeah. Down by 18 here, 63-45, under 12 to go, second half. Baldwin throws it across court. Curry drives, he, he traveled. Mike Rhodes wanted a bump for the travel, but not going to change the mind there. He's got a fourth foul, and he's being looked at over there on the bench right now. Looks like something went wrong with his left shoulder. It might have been when he, when he pops when he, at the screen, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Patriots bring it across. Schwartz dribbles away from the screen. Now throws it, and that's going to be a turnover. He and Johnson got mixed up on what was going to happen. And that's five turnovers in nine minutes. At least that one was, wasn't live ball. Didn't lead to a fast break. So back to Virginia Commonwealth. Up by 18. Again, they are 9 of 12 here in this half from the field. They've actually missed their last two shots. Stop the presses. Yeah, they've got cold. Baldwin now. They've got Ward guarded by Johnson in the post. Instead, they'll kick it to Curry for three. Missed it. Rebound Ward. Tapped around and taken by Johnson. And he's fouled by Baldwin. And that'll be Ace Baldwin's third and the sixth on VCU. So, George Mason will shoot the rest of the game. Only two fouls so far on the Patriots. Again, that's not a smart foul when you're up 18, stopping the clock at midcourt. Yeah. Well, and that's that's also a thing for Baldwin. Not that he's in a deep foul trouble, but, but it's his but third. Three is three, yeah. A lot of time left. And that affects the way he plays, too. Schwartz, foul line, leans in, missed the shot. And there's Malik Henry grabbing the rebound and then saving it into Schwartz. So a second chance opportunity here for the Patriots. See if they can take advantage. Not a new 20. I call it a recycle 20. Schwartz on the drive all the way through and foul. Although he had no prayer of getting that ball up above the rim. No, he got it to the bottom of the rim. But he did get fouled. And that's four now on yeah. Ward. Got him with oh, the body. Him the yeah. Well, he got him with the body, too, beforehand. I don't think they called that one, because if they had, it would have been one and one. Yeah, they called they called it on Ward, so that's four now on him. And he's played limited minutes today and has had a limited impact on this game. Four points, five rebounds, and two of those points came early. He had the dunk right early the, in the ball game. Right off the start, yeah. Now beat the Loach back in, and Williams returns as well. The thing is, that, that is Mike Rhodes' deepest position, is, is center. So he's and got with, about 20 fouls to work with. And with Oduro on the bench with four for the Patriots, Not how much dangerous. can you take advantage of it? Yeah. Schwartz makes one out of two. Although Henry did get that offensive rebound. So the Patriots down by 17. And VC will come across as we get here at the midway point of the second half. VCU needs to continue to run its offense. So does George Mason. You don't just start chucking threes because you're behind. You keep running your offense, try to get to the foul line. And a good backside defense there. They're trying to go to Deloach, but Gaines comes across and steals it from the weak side. And then he's fouled. Now, two mistakes by Curry, which is rare. He threw a poor pass, and then he ran back and fouled. And that's going to be free throws for Devontae Gaines. Watch here, Curry forces a pass in. Good defense there from the weak side. And then watch him just reach over and slap it the, nowhere close to the ball. Especially in, in Baldwin, who was in good position to take a charge yeah. if Gaines tried to go all the way through. Curry's frustrated, I think, mostly with himself. 
That's only should his be. second foul. But gains at the line. Patriots shooting the rest of the way. 9.50 to go. Sometimes mental errors are a sign that you need a, a blow. Gains now nine points in the ball game. And Ace Baldwin. Go ahead, John. No, I was just going to say, make this one. You're down to 15. Ace Baldwin, one assist shy of a double double. He's got 13 points and nine assists in the game. Gaines makes them both. Patriots coming with pressure. Baldwin gets free, throws it down low, well, layup miss. Henry with the rebound. Great recovery on defense by the Patriots. That looked like it was going to be an open layup. Gaines to Johnson. Drives in all the way through. Bounce pass down low to Malik Henry. Out to Gaines for three. Got it. And suddenly Mike this Rose building wants has come out. Actually, normally Oduro would have taken that shot inside, but because it was Henry, he kicked it back out for a three. A 10-0 run since they were down by 22, and suddenly the Patriots have life down by 12. As you said, just a good job. Johnson leaving the pass down low, and Henry's, Henry's finding the open shooter. He saw the defense. Now, Oduro would have gone up and shot because he's so tough to stop in there. But Henry, as you said, recognized the defender and found the open shooter. So Mason now three of five from the outside this half. VCU has missed their last four from the field. And they've had a couple turnovers, too. Yeah, they were 9 of 10 to start the half. They're still shooting 9 of 14, but they've missed their last four. And as you said, four turnovers in the last five minutes for VCU. And both teams, probably much to the dismay of their coaches, Patriots have 13 turnovers in the ballgame. So they have more in this half already than they had the entire first half. Sometimes when you get a big lead, even on the road, there's a tendency to take a deep breath. And maybe not be as aggressive as you were. VCU came out extremely aggressive in this half, and that's how they built that big lead. It was 10 at the half, and it grew to 22. Patriots averaging just below 10 made three-pointers a game. By far the most in school history. They have seven here in this one. They have to use another timeout to get it inbounds. Now leave VC with one timeout. And that's where the press but may not get you a turnover, but it forces Mike Rhodes to waste the timeout. And so it'll leave him with one, although it's still a 12-point game. It may not get closer, and it may not happen. We'll, we'll see. But so what did they do here, John? Well, what they didn't do was run with the ball. You see the inbounder there, who's Williams, who should know better again. He just stood still. Yep. After a made basket, you can run with the ball. You got to move and create space. He didn't do it, and then he kind of panicked and had to call the timeout. See if they use a different inbounder this time, or if Mike Rhodes has a talk with Vince Williams. Well, they made substitutions. So you got a different what, personnel in there, but Williams, Williams looks like in. he's going to throw the ball he in. Oh, he is your most experienced player, that's for sure. Well, this is the smart thing here. BC put three across at half court. They're probably just going to let Ace Baldwin or Curry just run straight to the basketball. Try the smart thing to do. I would try to put the ball in, in, in Baldwin's hands. Nunn also a very good ball handler. They get it in to Nunn. Gaines will pick him up as VCU brings it across. Again, the Patriots on a 10-0 run. As Nunn drives, dumps it down low. That's a pretty good response. I mean, that was a call play off the timeout. That's what good coaches do. So that stops the run and the lead now back to 14. Patriots have a long way to go to dig themselves back out of this hole now. Johnson drives, kicks, Blake Buchanan, three ball. Side rim, no, ball's tapped out long. Baldwin's gonna win the race, runs it oh. down, and then is fouled, I believe, by Buchanan. That was just pure speed by Ace Baldwin. He just outran everybody. And that will be the first on Buchanan and the fourth team foul. Good job by Buchanan actually hustling back. See, he's ahead of the field here. And then Buchanan comes in and fouls him from the side. So Baldwin to the line. Again, 13 points in the contest, including three of four from behind the arc. He's made both his free throws here tonight. Davon Cooper's going to come back in. You know the Buchanan. saying, LMFT. Lefties make free throws. There you go. <laughs> 
Now we'll probably miss this one because I said that. Nope. So four quick ones after the timeout and a lead back to 16. And 8.50 to go. Thompson drives, just lost, lost the it. handle, and it went off his knee out of bounds. He just lost it. He saw the help coming and just dribbled it off his knee. Josh back. 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 Yep. Kind of now or never, right? I noticed Frazier back in as well. Oduro, 12 points, 8 rebounds. He had 12 at halftime, so has not scored because he had to sit a long time, picking up two early fouls in the half. Well, there's a poor inbounds pass. That's twice Vince Williams has screwed up the inbounds. Schwartz for three. In and out. Oh, that would have been big. He had an opportunity there, but couldn't get it done. Vince Williams has had some mind blocks today for a guy who's such a smart player. That second foul in the first half and two bad inbounds plays. Very much not like him. Patriots and switches end up with Odero trying to go guard Baldwin, but they switch it back. Now an eight on the shot clock. Driving, tossing one up, and that one's off and no good. And wow. the Loach miss got his own back, and if that's the foul on Odero, that'll be it for him. Let's see if it's five. No, it's not on him. Johnson. Yep. Johnson from behind. But still, they, the Patriots gave up two offensive rebounds there on a critical possession. Good play by Deloach, misses, and then there you see Johnson reach in from behind. And that'll be the second on Johnson. And now four team fouls on the Patriots. Eight in VCU. Those free throw is good. Again, he came in from the line, just four of 22 on the season. But again, that does not look like a four of 22 free throw shooter. That form is very good. And the result was good, too. Now, that was more like it. Oh, my goodness. I think Oduro got away with his fifth foul there. Yeah, maybe. He had the right oh, arm out. Lee yeah. Williams battling there, but it'll stay with the Patriots. Down by 17 now. Again, it's a 5-0 run for VCU since the Patriots cut it to 12 on the three. And that was their first missed free throw. Cooper now trying to get away from the double team. Patriots got to hurry up and get it across, they and they will not. Again, 10-second count. You press all game, and you get a turnover like that, and that's why you press well, in the first half. Oh, first half. In the first half. Yep. And then a run by VCU to start this second half, and Mason's been chasing the whole way. They were so hot from the end of the first half through the first few minutes of the second half. That's how they built the lead to 22. And some of it wasn't poor play. It was really good shooting, although the turnover certainly hurt. And Ace Baldwin and Jaden Nunn have both been terrific. Baldwin, Great backward. One assist away from a double-double. Vince Williams three ball. Ooh. Just scraped the front of the rim. It's an open shot, and he almost airballed it. I wonder how much that cap is still bothering yeah, him. Yeah, that's a very good point. I'm sure he's, you know, Mike Rhodes said to me yesterday, we've got to get him back to 100%. And he's, I'm guessing not. Johnson. Although the mental mistakes don't make sense. Johnson on the drive, found by Jaden Nunn. That'll be the first on him. Got him with the body, had, had a lot of ball. Ninth team foul for the Rams. So I'm Mike Rhodes, I'm telling my players, make them make shots. Don't stop the clock by fouling. The Patriots have two shots the rest of the way. Johnson hits that one. Only four team fouls for the Patriots. So Mason now 15 of 19 from the free throw line. VCU is 13 of 14. Johnson eight points and now nine in the game. Again, some pressure by the Patriots. Well, that was not a good pass at all. Three on two back the other way. That was not a good dunk. pass at all. And wide open Vince Williams for an easy dunk. And you get a turnover. You're trying to push it up court and you throw a poor pass and it leads to the old one on zero. Johnson drives in. Shots up. Good. Stop. Blocking foul. Another foul. And I think that's four on Vince Williams, isn't it? Or is it three? If it's on Williams, it's four. That's four on Williams. 
again, silly foul. And a by and VCU with that, again, this final how, big, how big was that turnover, John, when Huge. the Patriots had a chance to cut it down even further? It was a four-point swing. Huge. And Johnson hit a tough shot there while he was being fouled. He's now up to 11 points, fourth Patriot in double digits. James Williams will come out for a few minutes, depending on how the game goes. He's had 14-point night. Nunn and Baldwin, each with 15 for VCU. Johnson, three-point play, no good. That was the last one-on-one -on -one of the game. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that was an and one, yeah, but he would have been the last one-on-one. -on -one. -one, but no, that was under an and seven one. to go, I'm not sure. Down 15. They'll if, shoot two the rest of the way. If it's going to matter that much. I'll figure it out. Baldwin now at the top to Curry. Back to Baldwin. He'll take this shot clock down under 10. Drives on Schwartz, dumps it down low. It was a good pass, but a little too strong. The foul will go against Johnson, his third. That's a non-shooting foul. So they'll inbound to get a new 30. Oh, no, they called it a two-shot foul? Uh, I think they said he was gathering to shoot. He didn't it'll, catch the ball. It'll be Ward shooting the free throws. Although he was trying to walk away. I don't think he wanted to shoot him. I don't know why. He's made both of them. Actually, this is his first attempt tonight. Probably be better as he makes the first. I was going to say probably <laughs> better for VCU to get a new clock. And he makes the first confidently. And again, a guy who came in shooting just 55% from the free throw line, but those don't look no, like bad free throws. Good. They're 34% for the year from three. And they're over 50% in this game from three. That's, that's the critical stat. And they are 15 and 16 from the foul line. Johnson drives, missed the layup just off the front rim. Curry now with a run out. Gaines trying to get back, and Curry throws it down. What a pass by Baldwin. And I think they just got a technical foul on Curry for taunting. Yeah, see, that's a dumb play by a senior. A smart kid, too. You see. So Johnson's layup just, just off the rim. Just the layup, and Baldwin, play that would have made Joe Burrow proud. Great dunk by Curry there. And then he, yeah, Must there's have no said question. Something. No, he, he, he absolutely got into Gaines' face. Well, 19 point lead, and Schwartz misses the free throw. 77% shooter. It's not your day, it's not your day, right? Yeah, he's one of five from the arc, now one of three from the free throw line. Made the second. It only cost the Rams one point. But it's been a a tough day for Schwartz, who comes in averaging just shy of 16. He's only got seven points and one of five. And if they're going to have a big day today, the Patriots, they needed Schwartz to be as good as he has been. And as good as he was against Richmond, that's for sure. I'm super, a little surprised Mike Rhodes hasn't taken Curry out just to tell him, hey, he's smart. Schwartz double team. They flip it over to Johnson. Now Odero. Way to make his out. move on Ward. Tried to go behind his back, lost the handle, and it's going to stay with the Patriots with 16 on the shot clock. Oduro got lucky there. He started at the top of the key, which even as good a ball handler as he is, 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 is really tough. And he tried to put it behind his back. Yeah. Okay. He's not playing for the globe top. Gaines cuts through. They get it to Schwartz. One hop step. Throws up with the left hand. Oh, that's, of course. A, that's a really good shot. Tough shot. He's got a little old man YMCA game in him, John. I, when he had 29, his career high uh, earlier this season, a lot of it was just foul line fadeaways and bank shots from about seven feet. That's experience. Yep. If your player played in Colorado for Tad Boyle. Down on the shot clock now. None as Oduro steps out trying to run him off the ball. They kick it into the corner. Now Curry, he's going to have to rise up and shoot a three over Schwartz. Front rim, no. Rebound, oh, no underneath. Missed the follow up. And it goes off of VCU out of bounds. This is a 16 point game. Think how many inside shots VCU's missed. They've missed a bunch of follows. And the Patriots haven't really been able to cut into the lead too much despite VCU being just three of their last 12 from the field. Well, again, that gets back to VCU's defense. And the turnovers. Patriots with 10 turnovers this half. They get it to Oduro. Got Ward up in the air and made the layup. First points in the half. 
Yep. Almost 15 minutes in. 14 points, nine rebounds. But set for a long time with those four fouls. And Johnson almost Nearly. jumped that pass. Have you ever seen a player on a play like that not point that it's, that it's his ball? <laughs> and does it ever work? You, you do it on the schoolyard, right? Yeah. yeah. How often does it ever work, though, that the official's like, yeah, you know what? It is your ball. Baldwin drives at O'Durro. Oh, what a tough finish. shot that was. And he's got 17 points. And on the Curry dunk a few minutes ago, he got his 10th assist. And there was nothing wrong with the defense there. He just made a heck of a play. Gaines now catches, fires for three and hits. Devontae Gaines, his third three of the ball game. He's up to 16 points. The Patriots still down by 13. Never over till it's over, Bill. Yeah, again, perilous hit pass. pass. They were lucky again. Uh, and we see it was fortunate. Same thing we just talked about. Gaines looking at the official saying, wait a minute, that, that ball was, did, hit him, didn't it? They, they begged for everything. All of them do it. That's it's what great. you do, right? That's basketball. See, open shooter, lefty, swish. And now, oh, so there's a little bit of blood, I guess. Yeah, he might have got when, when the pass nose. when the pass was made. I think yeah. he might have caught. Not it, obviously not intentional. I think he may have caught. No, and it doesn't look like it's that bad. You hope. And they're going to give him the time it takes, and Gaines shakes his head and says he's ready to go. So. And of course, both coaches taking the opportunity yeah. for the free timeout. Yep, they look, they, good coaches look for every edge. So 4.27 to go, Patriots down by 13. Another one of my pet peeve rules in the fifth foul, and the coaches take out their clipboards. No, get the guy to the scores table and play. You get 30 seconds to make that decision, yeah, John, be. even though they know exactly who they're going to put yeah, in for exactly the guy. Exactly right. Williams now, five on the clock. They found Ward down low. He bounced it back to Williams. Nice pickup by Vince Williams there. Well, I was going to say, the key on that play was the catch yeah. by Vince Williams. Schwartz cross court to Johnson. They come across. Patriots are down 15. As Johnson probes, got it down low to Oduro and got the layup. And Ward, even with even if he laying three fouls, knows better than to try to go up to block the shot and, and take the risk of an and one. And Just let him go. And he, he's so good with that shot fake inside. Curry hands it off now to Williams. And BCU going to be content to run a lot of shot clock here. Ward turns, shoots over Oduro. And that one falls through. They've had a ton of those bounce off the rim. And I, don't, I don't know if there's an NCAA record for most shots made hitting the rim twice. But they've had a lot of them today. That's not luck. The shot goes in, the shot goes in. They've had a couple of threes even do that as well, yeah. which is even harder. Oduro drives on Ward, and the layup is good. Now is just trying to figure they can make that exchange as long as they're running 30 seconds right. nearly every time. They'll take this. Two guys with four fouls. Duro can be aggressive and just has to play without taking charge or creating charge. Under three to go, the 13-point lead for BCU. Baldwin drives on Johnson, and he's going to be called for his fourth foul. And again, hard to say from this angle, but it looked like Johnson got the block, but he also got the box. That run was enough. The Patriots are down 22, got it to 12. Mike Rhodes took a timeout for the Rams, and BCU then scored the next six to push it back to 18, and it's kind of going back and forth. 16, 12, 13. Can't trade baskets when you're that far behind. Yep. And Ace Baldwin's just been terrific. That's his 18th point. He's got 10 assists, three rebounds, two steals, and created a couple other steals yep. that don't show up in the stat sheet. BCU is a team 16 of 17 from the free throw oh, line. Oh, he missed. He's human. Shot. 16 of 18 from the free throw line. Johnson now, the Patriots down by 14. Gets it to Cooper, catches and fires. That one's off the mark, the rebound battled for, and VCU comes away with it. Oh, they will wide take right. Time. Good hustle there by Odor and Schwartz trying to get on the offensive glass. Now they've got a pressure uh, VCU here. They can't just let them run clock. Down 14 with 2.25 to go. That might have been, if that three goes down, that might have been the cue to go ahead and foul, put one-on-ones, but down by 14, they may 
try to just play this out. The ball knocked off of Baldwin out of bounds. So it'll be Mason basketball. Rare mistake for Baldwin there, trying to get in the lane with the shot clock going down, but they still used up 20 seconds. Yep. And they've kind of been doing that since about the seven-minute yeah, they have. Seven minute mark. Just they have. And often that leads to plays like that, where you take a bad shot or turn it over. But more, more often than not, they've done a pretty good job with it. Maduro outside now, starting to drive on Ward, down in, off the glass, no, the rebound battled for, and VCU has it, and that's Williams. Maduro's a good defender, even with four fouls, he's got those long arms. Ward. And he can catch. Back the other way for Hassan Ward. Right. That makes it 83-67. I think Kim English is going to spend a lot of time tomorrow showing his team its transition defense. Because even without turnovers, it has not been very good here in the second half. Maduro to Cooper on a back cut, but knocked away. Ward again. And a minute 30 to go, VCU comes across. And nope. what's up to wonder, and, and they would never admit to it, but fourth game in eight days as well for the Patriots. Yep. You have to wonder how much that comes into effect as well, because they don't play a lot of guys. Well, they don't. The, the five starters all play over 30 minutes a game. And they had the same issue as you know when they went to South Dakota and played five games in yep. eight days. Williams on the drive around a girl. Nice I should do it. Kim, Kim English told me that Maryland moved their game back two days for a scheduling reason, and he said he wasn't going to give the game up, even if it meant playing five and eight days, because he really thought they could win. And they did. Schwartz now drives, kicks, gains. Three balls to be short, and the rebound of ECU. And with under a minute to go, the Rams are going to get themselves to nine and three in conference play. They will be in second place in the conference alone. And only a game behind Davidson, which lost today. And the Patriots will drop to five and five. Next up for them will be a Wednesday night showdown in Philadelphia against St. Joe's, the first of three straight on the road as Baldwin takes the three with a shot clock running down. Missed it, and Johnson gets the rebound. For VCU, they go to Fordham, and then the Battle of Richmond as Cooper hits a three. As on Friday, February 18th, they'll take on Richmond. That one will be a good one. Always is with the uh, Broad Street that's rivalry. One of, that's one of those throw out the record books games. So the Patriots fall here by 15 at home. 85 to 70 against VCU. 